this is our 2021 Wolf Pup Limited 16 BHS, which means it's the uh, probably one of the smaller bunkhouses you can get, but it works for what we're using it for, which is to actually get out and camp. We just basically need a place to sleep, but this gives us that as well as a few luxuries, including my wife right here. She's probably my biggest luxury that I have. So when you first walk in, we've got the queen size bed. Can you lift that up and show them what we've got underneath that sheet? Yeah. The mattress that comes with it, it's your basic camping mattress. It's not gonna, any good. It's not gonna help your back very much. So we put a three inch memory foam queen topper. We had to trim it back a little bit because this is a short queen, which means it's only about 74 inches versus I think the 80 inch standard. If you take this out, you can get a full queen. And then we got storage up above. We're debating whether or not we want to pull those side panels out, but either way, we've got plenty of room. So I keep my clothes over in the far left corner, and then we've got an electronics bag so we can pull out power cords in case we need extenders, remote for the TV. We got a 19 inch TV. Is it a 19 or a 24? 19. 19 inch I TV. Think, or maybe it's 24. I, I thought don't I know. got 20. The um, TV barely fits. We'll put it that way. I'll have to double check to see what size I got. I think that may actually be a 24 inch. Uh, the Wolf Pup comes with a TV mount, and you put that on the back of the TV. It will slide in on here, or if you want to take it outside, you can mount it outside and watch TV outside while you're roughing it. I don't know how people watch TV while roughing it, but you have that option. These are some custom pillows that Emily made. This is a coma comforter and they're super warm. You do not need any heat whatsoever. If, if you you're have... under that comforter, you do not. If you're elsewhere in the camper, you may. Mm -hmm. And then this is our dinette. It folds down to a twin size bed. It's a short twin, it's an RV twin. So our 13 year old fits in it pretty snugly, but I can still sit down on there while he's laying on it and make my coffee before he wakes up. And then we got two bunks back here. We are working on installing a third, but for now we've got a top bunk. Again, custom comforter made by Emily. Custom pillowcases made by Emily. Uh, lower bunk down here. And then underneath here is storage space. We've, it's actually designed to where that's a door back there. If you flip this bunk up, We've actually been able to fit three bikes in here, so it's definitely usable, but when it's not being used for storage, there's just an empty space under there. So we're gonna pop that bottom panel out, throw a third mattress under there, and that's gonna become a third bunk. So all three of our boys will have a bunk, and that'll keep the dinette open a little bit. We don't have to worry about setting it up and taking it down every night. Always get one of these. Toss it outside, collect dirty shoes before coming in here. Our kitchen area, we've got custom backsplash, and I will let you in on the secret, that's just vinyl adhesive. It's actually very easy to install, it took me about an hour maybe. Uh, you do have to account for the fact that you're cutting around a window, but that's really the only thing that you have to worry about. I took the blind holder off down there to put the vinyl on, and then we can put that right back on, that's no problem. Ignore the slightly rough edges when the blind's down, nobody will see it. Uh, we put a paper towel holder in up here. That's just adhesive, but it holds very tight. It's not going anywhere. We've gone on a couple trips already with it, and it's pretty solid. We've got a cell phone that looks absolutely decorative here in front of our Happy Camper Sensi. What is that, a warmer? A Sensi warmer? Mm -hmm. well, so what's that you're putting up there? The silverware holder. What's it look like? I know you just got it up there. From my new silverware, it has campers on it. Where'd you get that? LTE commodities. And the rack? What rack? The, the rack that yeah. it's in? Mm -hmm. Same thing, LTE commodities. Since I no longer need the bag. Um, the storage is pretty limited on this as you can see, but Emily makes it work and she makes it work I've beautifully. I've got a system. So these are all my utensils. I've got my plates and stuff here. I try to put the cups up here, but it's kind of messy right now. And then 
And that little hook fell. But I got my silverware caddy. And to be fair, we're actually parked on a slight incline, so nothing is staying where it's supposed to at the moment. Yeah, everything's kind of Like if I just let that door go, it'll close itself. And then underneath, we have our, that goes outside on the picnic table when we're camping. I got my storage bags. I got my, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? The, collapsible, thank yeah, you. Collapsible, collapsible dish, pan. dish pan under there. Um, so I can do dishes outside and not have to use that. I got our percolator. I've got pots and pans. And I've got my Ninja specifically for the camper for my mixed drinks. What kind of mixed drinks? Mm, the yummy kind. The fruity kind. There is a panel over here. It's an airway panel for the stove and the furnace, which is right here. Quite a few people have popped that out and they've put in a custom built drawer. We're maybe going to do that at some point. We haven't quite decided yet. Emily wants to, but I want to make sure that it's safe to do so before we start putting stuff in where an airway is for propane. And then our pantry is over here on this side. Or s'mores container and then that's more of the pantry and still plenty of room these i got from target I think. we're not getting anything out don't get anything out but i had a second shelf oh that's right because it's up there and the smaller ones down here okay so in here is our throne room so we got the basic camper RV toilet. It's the uh, foot pedal toilet. We got a rug there because our kids are not snipers by any means. We installed this toilet paper holder about 10 minutes ago. So we'll let you know how that works after we get out on the road. We've got a storage rack here to hold all of our uh, beauty products. Those two towel racks we mounted today and we're actually gonna throw one more towel up in there but it works great. It's nice and solid and you just roll the towels up in there when we're done to let them dry. We can just throw them on these hooks here. The sink for the bathroom in here is part of the shower and you can actually move the shower head down over the sink area. It's all going to drain to the same spot anyway. And it does have about maybe a 12 inch deep tub so if you've got young kids or an infant and you need to bathe them real quick or just hose them down this would be a great way to do it i've got this fan running right now because we discovered that if we try to turn the ac on in this unit while we're plugged in at home using the 20 amp outlet it kicks the breaker in our basement so i will close that up and that's nice and sealed and just in case you're wondering, yes, those are our toothbrushes. We do keep them out here. We don't try to brush our teeth in the bathroom because it's really not all that easy to do. Most of the time, we just kick them outside and say, go brush your teeth outside. But we can use the sink in here if it's raining or if the weather just doesn't allow us Does to go outside. Anybody with kids knows you're going to end up with toothpaste uh, residue from them spitting everywhere. So it's easier to wipe it up in here than it is going in the shower to wipe it up. And I painted that, too. This is our 12 amp, sorry, 12 volt RV fridge. It runs on battery, which is charged by a solar panel on our roof. That comes standard with this, uh, it's called the juice pack, comes on this camper. These are all of our stickers that we have collected on our adventures so far. Emily has converted them. If they weren't already, she's converted them all to magnets. Originally, I, I would pick up a sticker as well as my hiking stick, that medallion thing, and postcards everywhere we go. But in, with our old camper, we were going to stick them on the back of the pop-up. And we decided with the grooves on this one, and well, frankly, with it being brand new, really didn't want to start putting a bunch of stickers on it. And like my kid said, if we ever do upgrade, then we lose all those stickers. So I decided... Go buy some blank magnets, throw them on, we can keep them. The Gay Dolphin Shop in Myrtle Beach. 
I actually did get lost in there. Yeah, I think we all did. Um, Sugarlands. This was the uh, moonshine tasting in Smoky Mountains. Sun Crater National Volcano Monument. There's Petrified Forest National Park, Cuyahoga Valley. Now, this is the challenge at the Indiana Dunes State Park. Hiking up three solid sand dunes. It, if you've never, if, but if, we earned a sticker for it. If you have never climbed up a sand dune or climbed sand in general, it is not easy. No. So there's Mammoth Cave, Smoky Mountains, Bryce Canyon, Walnut Canyon National Monument, Goldfield Ghost Town in Arizona. That was a neat little place. Lake Powell, Joseph City, Arizona, Sedona, Arizona. Zion National Park Arches, Capitol Reef Cannon Lands, Montezuma Castle, Blue Ridge Parkway, the Hole in the Rock in Moab, Meteor Crater, um, oh, the Ohio State Reformatory. That was our last video that we did. Yep. And then this is our state map of everywhere, all the states that we've been to. So... I know. And if you want to get technical, we probably could add more to that mm -hmm. because we've driven through some but of these states. But we don't count that. We count seeing the national parks within the state or seeing other things. Like Florida, even though we haven't done the national parks there, we went to Siesta Key. And so we figured, huh, that still counts. Yeah, we did so see we a state Florida. park there, too. Yeah. I can't pronounce it correctly, I so it I'm not going to embarrass myself. So, yeah. And then... In the meantime, the rest of the stickers of where we haven't gone yet, I keep it under here so it stays nice and flat. But yeah, it comes with the rest of the, you could put the, the date and the year, but I don't wanna do that. We keep these in here. These are really nice. If you're forgetful like me, this is our hiking journal. So any uh, trail we go on, I record it in here. There's all different kinds of questions it asks. You can, you can tell I don't put much detail into it, but this is our campground one. This I've filled out quite a bit more, but every campground we go to, I can, it asks different questions. You can put notes, you can take a picture, put a postcard, but it's just nice to kind of look at and, or if you go back to a campground and there's a question in here that says, um, Next time we come back, we must remember to. For example, one campground, we have make sure the office knows that we are there at the right night. They had us down for the next night. That voltmeter will show you how our solar charging is going. And when we are on battery power, we have access to our Bluetooth radio. It's an AM FM radio. Uh, it also, uh, you can run auxiliary into it through USB, through HDMI, or you can use Bluetooth. We typically use Bluetooth and Sirius XM on one of our phones. And then we got battery chart, well, battery powered phone chargers, USB ports on each bunk here. There's one there and there's one there. And then we've got two over here. So, this doesn't come with the couch, unfortunately, but it does have a ton of storage space and it's accessible through here or through a panel on the outside. So when we arrive somewhere, I can open the side panel and I can pull out the setup tools that I need. Or if we're inside and I need to grab something, I keep all my tools in this crate right here. So anything in terms of screwdrivers, wrenches, anything that I may need immediately, I can get to both inside and through that panel over there by just sliding it forward. This is Emily's outside bucket. But we need to update the sticker because it still has the pop-up. Yeah, we still have our uh, Jim Bob 1.0 on there. Open up the, the bucket. Open this so up? Yeah. It's our tablecloth and clips. And there's also a light inside there. So once it's empty and that is sitting on the picnic table at night, we can light it up and that just makes a big lantern. Back here, we've got our portable camp stove, which we can either connect a standalone propane tank, which I have, 
or I can connect to our propane line on the RV itself and run that. Underneath that is a camping table that I set the camper or it's the stove on. It's actually a camp on. kitchen. It's got like a little uh, sink in it and rack for cooking on. And it's like essentially an outside camping countertop. The rug actually, um, it may seem like a lot to carry around and unnecessary, but it's actually really quite nice, especially when you're somewhere sandy, like Indiana sand dunes, where the entire thing is sand at your campground. You end up with a lot of sand in your in your uh, camper, and that kind of helps cut that down. And then this is a nice little tool we have right here. This is a 12 volt vacuum. It's actually designed for a car, but we keep it in here. We've got an adapter to where we could plug it into an outlet, or we could run an, an extension from the car if we wanted to, but it allows us to vacuum out the camper without having to carry a huge wand or indoor household vacuum. It's very, very convenient. And then in the back, on the very back panel, I don't know if you could see that or not, that's actually the voltmeter for our solar panel on the roof, which tells you how much power it's collecting and sending to the battery to charge. So that's our storage area and then when we're done we slide it down and climb in and get comfy and turn on the tv here's the access to the under bed storage from the outside which we got plenty of space to get in there easy to get what you need and i usually keep our hitch and weight distribution assembly in here as well. It's because it's very easy to get to and that way it's not actually going in the car with us when we go. And this is what's known as our pup kitchen or we refer to it as our beer fridge. This little mini fridge and fortunately this one does not run off battery power. You have to be connected to regular shoreline. A couple of these slipped out it looks like but where we keep our drinks, our cheap camp beer. Plenty of room there. And then I usually keep this down while we're camping because I want to be able to get to my beer without having to fiddle with the uh, door. I've already, as you can see, cut my finger on it this morning because I was an idiot. But this makes a good prep table here when you set it up next to the camp kitchen table. So that usually stays open when we're out camping. And then here you'll see the hookup and speakers for the external sound system. There's the slide for the TV. You just bring it out here, slide it right into that. The attachment slips right in there. And then this is for your antenna. It comes with a digital antenna on the roof, so you can hook that up there. We've got it hooked up inside at the moment. And there's your power for the TV. And if you wanna bring a Blu-ray player out or maybe a gaming system because our kids are addicted to gaming. And then this is very nice. Our dog, Elwood, he likes to go camping with us and we can just hook his cord up to that and he's not gonna run off there. Over here is the outside door. And there's the storage underneath here. As you can see, we got our chairs in there right now and then an extra hose hookup in case we need it for the black tank or gray tank and then this lifts up there's a strap right there if you were to lift this up it'll actually fold up against the wall and you've got pretty good sized storage space i'm not going to do it right now because alec went out of his way to make these beds and i don't want to mess up his work and then this right here, I've been asking everyone, why is there a black key? And everyone keeps saying, for the shower. Well, there's the shower, which I've already used once to do dishes because I don't feel like doing dishes inside. It works great for that. You can use it if you want to hose off after being at the beach or being in the mud, anything like that. But, so there's this black key that just doesn't seem to do anything but the shower, so. That's what I use the black key for. However, the same key that fits storage also fits this. 
but this key doesn't work for the storage. It only works for the shower. If anyone at Forest River can explain to me why that is, please do, because I have no clue. This key works for all outdoor storage. This key only works for the shower. Never been able to figure that out. City water hookup, uh, if you're gonna run it pressurized or if you just need to fill the tank, either one works there. And then we've got our hot water heater. It's propane and electric. So I've actually heard this kick on a couple times while we've been out camping already. So it works very well. And then we've got the Blue Ox weight distribution hitch connected to our Pathfinder. I've got an easy block underneath it. Like I said, we're on an incline, so I'm not disconnecting it from the car at the moment. This hopefully this gives you an idea of what can be done with this in terms of storage and decorating and anything like that. So thanks for watching. We're currently at home right now, so that's why I'm telling him to go inside when we're inside. What? But you've got the thing all wet. Mm -hmm. Were you in the creek? Let me guess, he found the string cheese we yeah, forgot about yeah. in the fridge. That would have been a... Uh... That would have been cool. We don't need him throwing up while we're out tonight.